Well, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. It's right around the corner. So I'm here to show you how to make one of the most popular drinks on St. Patrick's Day, the Irish Car Bomb. Now you're going to need some specific ingredients to make it an authentic Irish Car Bomb. First of all, you're going to need Guinness. Okay? Now you can get Guinness in the bottle or you can get it in the can. I prefer it in the can, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to need Jameson, the world's best whiskey, right here. And this is uh, 80 proof. Jameson, the good stuff, that's right. And go out and get yourself a bottle of the Bailey's Original Irish Cream. Don't get any of that flavored crap. You don't need it. The original is the best, okay? And you also need a shot glass. You can't make a proper Irish car bomb without a shot glass. Try to find the biggest shot glass you have. It makes it more fun, okay? So, here's the first thing you do. Now, an authentic Irish car bomb, like the kind they make in Ireland, uses half of a Guinness. I think that's for pussies, and I use a full-size Guinness, okay? Now, you might have a cool Guinness glass at home with a little harp on it and all that, and you know how to pour it, and that's fine, but we're not going to use this glass because it's just not going to be big enough, uh, considering what we're going to do here today, okay? So... You crack the, open an ice-cold Guinness, okay? You're going to pour that into your glass. Now, uh, if you don't know how to pour a Guinness, go on YouTube and look Look how there is uh, special ways to, to do what's called building a Guinness. Uh, you know, for, for what we're doing here, it's it's not that big of a deal. But um, I just want you to see the, uh, the Guinness building. All those suds are slowly starting to rise to the top, and then that head is going to dissipate. And that's going to be a properly uh, built Guinness. All right, that's just basically you're letting the beer settle. That's a, it's a fancy way of uh, doing that. So it takes a, a, a few seconds. You gotta you gotta let the um, the Guinness mellow and uh, get to its full Guinness flavor. Okay. In the meantime, you get yourself your Jameson right here. Don't be a cheapskate. Go out and get yourself a 750 milliliter bottle. It's the best kind. Get your large shot glass. You have to do this in order. I'll explain why in a minute. So you pour yourself a full shot of Guinness, okay? You set that there. All right, now that, uh, I'm sorry, Jameson. You pour, you pour yourself a full shot of Jameson. While that is settling, uh, also go ahead and open up your, uh, your Irish cream and get that ready. Now, you know what I forgot to do is before you open your Irish cream, you shake it up because sometimes that creamy stuff can settle at the bottom and you want the flavor to be evenly distributed, okay? So, your Guinness beer is uh, just about ready there. It's good enough. You get your uh, Jameson. This is an Irish car bomb, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Like I said, the official recipe only calls for half a Guinness, but come on. All right, so you pour your uh, shot of Jameson in your Guinness, Okay? Then you get your uh, Baileys. Now this this uh, next step I'm going to show you, timing is crucial because you have an ice cold Guinness. Uh, you also have Irish cream here. Cream will curdle very fast in the cold beer. So you pour a shot, you pour a full shot of uh, Baileys Irish cream. All right, now this part you have to do kind of fast or it'll taste really nasty. It'll taste like sour milk and it won't be any good. What you do, you, uh, you get your, 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 your beer and your whiskey mixture, you get your Irish cream, and here's what you do right here. Watch this now. Get your shot glass, and you can make, make sure you don't drop it too far. You'll have broken glass and your drink will be ruined, okay? And you drop it in there, okay? Make sure it's in. Irish car bomb. Happy St. Patrick's Day.